Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are at a substation just outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. We will be watching the Knoxville Utilities Board use an Omicron Testrano 600 for transformer testing with a one-time test connection. Our participating utility is the Knoxville Utilities Board and this video is sponsored by Omicron. Now we will start as we traditionally do with the on-site job safety briefing and the participants in the briefing signing off on that. And here you will see our workers uh, breaking out the Omicron Testrano 600 test unit in this yellow case and a couple of affiliated blue cases. Next, we'll set up an area just in front of the transformer here where we can use a laptop to read the test results. And now I'm gonna turn it over to Brandon from Omicron as he describes and explains the Testrano 600. It's pretty straightforward. Um, we're gonna ground the test set. Obviously, we have the ethernet cable to plug into our laptop, and then we have the power supply cable. All of the leads are coming in this side of the test set. And we're going to have two cables, two bundles of cables. And each bundle has four leads coming out the other end. Okay. So the four leads will be one for H1, one for H2, H3, and H out. And then the other cables for the secondary side, X1, X2, X3, and X out. Okay. And the leads are color-coded on the end, so you can see red, yellow, blue, black and they're labeled as well. So they are labeled H1, H2, H3, and H0. Okay. So we're gonna plug these in to the test set here. So we have match red to red, yellow to yellow. And this is a, a twist off. So we'll put it in like that, and then we'll twist it into place. Okay. okay. So we have the primary cable and the secondary cable. And and now Brandon will walk over and show us the leads that connect to the transformer itself. This is the secondary cable. And for example, this is the X1 lead. And there, there are going to be two leads per, per clamp. And you're just going to put one on each side. It doesn't matter which side they go on. Okay. So for this unit, we're going to connect eight clamps. Four on the primary, four on the secondary. Next, we are going to make and test the connection to the load tap changer or LTC control. This is done so that the Testrano can raise and lower the LTC position automatically when measurements are performed. Yeah. Good? Yeah. And with that, it is time for our guys to gather up some clamps and then take their hydraulic lift up to the top of the transformer to make the connections up there for this diagnostic testing. And you'll see here as they step onto the transformer that harnesses and fall protection are absolutely required at all times on top of the transformer. So now that our guys are securely tethered in atop the transformer, we can begin by disconnecting the bus connections from the bushing terminals to isolate the transformer for testing. For testing purposes, we will remove the grounds from the bushing terminals and then clean the faces of the bushing terminals for clamps and Testrano leads. And here in fact are those Testrano leads color coded as we've seen before. To separate them out by color and here we show the yellow Testrano leads being inserted into a clamp and then the clamp being placed on this bushing terminal and our next shot shows similar clamps and leads attached to each of the bushing terminals atop this transformer and here we see our setup on the ground with the laptop connected to the Testrano and he will signal to his partner when to start each of the tests. Preparing. Go ahead. Coming hot. Coming hot. And as we show images of data screens from Testrano tests, let's talk about the tests that are being done today. We ran the turns ratio test performed from five raise to five lower using the automatic tap changer control feature. 
The DC winding resistance measurement was taken on both the primary and secondary windings. And as is common industry practice, after completing the winding resistance tests, KUB demagnetized the core of the transformer. And then once measurements were complete, KUB generated a test report and stored data in the primary test manager database for future reference. Now, all of these tests plus the demagnetization took place in about 20 minutes. And you will also notice that it only took one trip up onto the transformer to make the test connections to generate all the reports. This not only reduces test time, but it makes the system easier to use and significantly improves safety since it only takes one trip on the transformer to make the connections. In addition, KUB could use their existing CPTD1 accessory in conjunction with the Testrano 600 to perform the transformer power factor and exciting current measurements. So as our crew wraps up and puts away the Testrano 600, you have now seen our TND How video on the use of a Testrano 600 for transformer testing with a one-time test connection. Our participating utility was the Knoxville Utilities Board. This video was sponsored by Omicron. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you for watching.